Hey guys, I'm back again. Um, this time around, it's a project that I actually didn't think I was going to end up building. Um, I've been doing a lot of paint stuff. I mean, you guys saw all the other paint tray designs and all the other fun stuff. And I thought I was done. Well, turns out I wasn't. There was one last type that I didn't get to that someone happened to bring up. Um, they asked about, you know, like, can you do the stair step style? And I went back and forth through some different design ideas and originally was going to do one where it held a specific number of paints and you had the little, you had the holes in it like I do for a lot of the other ones. But then I started to think about that and the problem with doing those are you're limited in the amount of paint that you can put in them. As well as they're designed to fit only one style of pot, um, which can be a problem. Especially if you're like me and have kind of painter's ADD and you buy a lot of different paints. So, with this one, decided to go with um, the open tray style like I did for the vertical units um, to give it a few more options. So, this is kind of the first of what will eventually be two different pieces. Um, this first one is a four tier unit, so you've got four shelves to put paint on um, that are stair stepped. And then I've got another one which is actually deeper, although it's the same height, it comes out a little bit further. It takes it up to, I believe, seven. It's either seven or eight. I think it's seven stair steps to give you a little bit more, um, a little bit more room. But this is the first one of it. Um, the first, for the first one, it's really straightforward. So I've got, whoops, the camera. Um, it's just your basic stair step design. I'll even show you the back of it, although there's not really much to see at the back. Um, so you can put your paints up there and you've got, I mean, space, I think it'll hold, if I remember correctly, it holds six, yeah, six of the the larger GW size pots per, per shelf. Um, same thing with the smaller ones, so if you're the newer style ones, it'll hold six of those as well, because they're about the same size. Um, so it holds those. It'll also hold, you know, the the dropper paints, so you can put those on there. These, I want to say you'll get, I mean, if you put them flat across, let's see, that's three, five, seven, so you'll get eight of them across at least and really if you were to stagger them because the shelf, the spaces are a little bit wider than the bottle you could probably get nine I mean if you really wanted to push it but I'd say eight across would be probably your your best bet with this one um, they're they're tall enough in that the the wells are deep enough so that you don't worry about you know like the the paints falling forward and those kind of things they're easy to they're easy to get to and you can still see the colors so there's enough of a stair step between the between the different pots that you can actually see the colors. And I'm going to try and center this back up. One other thing that I added with this one was I added a drawer at the bottom of it. So this one you've got a pretty decent sized pull out drawer. Um, let's see if we can pull out a ruler here. I'll tell you how wide it is. So go around to our inch side. So you're looking at just over an eight inch wide drawer, like eight and a quarter, I want to say, or for the metric, from people, metric, you're talking just under 21 centimeters. So, I mean, it's a pretty decent sized drawer. The drawer does come all the way out, um, and there is a stop at the back, so this would be perfect for storing things like decals, brushes, that kind of thing. Um, but all in all, it's a pretty decent size, I mean, it's a pretty decent kit. So you've got more than enough space to put all your stuff in. And with the design of it, it's designed so that you can expand. So if you wanted to add multiple side by side, same as you would anything else, you just add in, you just add in some extra um, units and you'd have them stacked side by side. So it gives you a pretty full amount of storage. Doesn't really take up a lot of space. Pretty easy to deal with. Oops, hit the camera again. So we'll bring that in. But that's really it for this one. I mean, it's a nice, simple, basic project. Um, as I said, I am doing a larger one. 
This one is, um, because of the drawer, I did it a little bit narrower. The larger one is actually going to be a little bit wider, because this one is about eight and a half, almost nine inches wide. Um, the other one is going to be the 11, so I think it's like 11 and a half, or 11 and three quarters, which is what I used for the, um, for the vertical paint shelves. So it's going to be in that same width. And that way it gives you a little bit more storage. Besides having the more, um, the more steps in it, it'll also be a little bit wider, so it'll hold a few more paints. That one, uh, I just need to finish cutting out. And once I get that one cut out, I'll post some pictures on that one. But for now, this one is it's a pretty neat little project. So I'm going to just leave this one as is. And we'll go from there. Anybody have any questions or anything, go ahead and hit me an email. Hit me with an email or a PM, rather. Or just leave, leave your comments and let me know what you think. Cool. Talk to you guys later. Bye.